And finally, Mr Deputy Speaker, I've always said to the House that any curbs on our freedoms must be an absolute last resort and that we shouldn't keep them in place for a day longer than absolutely necessary. With this in mind, we've been reviewing the isolation period for positive cases to make sure the measures we have in place maximise activity in the economy and education, for example, but also minimise the risk of infectious people leaving isolation. UK HSA data shows that around two-thirds of positive cases are no longer infectious by the end of day five. And we want to use the testing capacity that we've built up to help these people leave isolation safely. After reviewing all of the evidence, we've made the decision to reduce the minimum self-isolation period to five full days in England. From Monday, people can test twice before they go, leaving isolation at the start of day six. These two tests are critical to, to these balanced and proportionate plans, and I'd urge everyone to take advantage of the capacity we have built up in tests so that we can restore the freedoms to this country while we are keeping everyone safe. Mr Deputy Speaker, we've now entered the third year of this country's fight against COVID-19. And thanks to an incredible national endeavour, we're now better protected than ever before. But this virus is not going away. There will be more variants, and no one can be sure what threat they might pose. But we can be sure that our pharmaceutical defences, vaccines, testing and antivirals are the best way to protect our health and our freedoms as we learn to live with COVID. I commend this statement to the House. Yeah.